YouTube and welcome to your 26th JavaScript tutorial and basically this is kind of part 2 for 25th JavaScript tutorial now in this tutorial I am going again through bomb and dom because I just recently found a very interesting piece of code which we can use to understand basically what the what is the difference between dom and bomb so I decided to create this part again but Make sure to watch the previous part as well because this would be a more advanced type of part for BOM and DOM. So what I found is actually if we console log the two variables, one from the BOM and the second from the DOM, then we get some surprising results, some awesome results and this one belongs to BOM and this one is DOM. And basically just don't log this show the directories uh, just expand all this so if you want to learn these console commands it's somewhere in my JavaScript tutorial this series only I don't know you can navigate I've got a title as well on that so that should be easy for you and if you refresh this page okay so we have got two objects here the one is the window object and the second one is the document object if we look at bomb and expand this window object then we see a hell lot of commands right here if I resize this a bit you can see there are so 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 many commands so many methods so many properties in the window object and these all properties basically deal with the browser as well as the document of the user see not a number is here listed in the window object um, we have got a lot of properties as well a lot of methods as well you are free to check we got the inner width the inner height of the document just like we retrieve these all are methods and everything that deal with basically the browser the width the height the width of your screen and like that and let's just collapse the window object and open the document okay so now we have document object and document contains all the useful information we need about the document or about the context of the user for example we need the URL we have the active element a link access key attributes base URL BG color like that the CSS stuff the children basically this is the DOM basically JavaScript API just formed a DOM and as I told you earlier DOM is an API so DOM is usually used with JavaScript only but since DOM is an API it could be used with any language which supports DOM like you could modify DOM with PHP as well and other languages also and then down here we have the doc type and all the important stuff all these these all are the event attributes of JavaScript if you look down here we have got very interesting stuff pretty awesome um, we've got plugins proto constructor prototypes then we have a lot of properties so in DOM you'd see that we have properties a lot of properties instead of a lot of methods and in window we have a lot of methods instead of properties so these functions like parse in and parse load I just saw one these are used for as the browser object model in the browser object model and these the document one contains all the information like cookie and everything that is required by the web page so I hope this tutorial would clear all the doubts you had after watching the previous tutorial and if you are good to go then click on next and you would be redirecting redirected to my next video and once again thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe